Hello everyone. Hope you are doing very well. In this video, I will talk about a new feature in Reno 42 version, partial ledger settlement. I would say this is a significant changes, and this feature have been a real ask from many implementation. Where as of now, you know, while doing the ledger settlement, the ledger and credit, the the debit and credit has to has to match. However, going forward, partial ledger settlement is available. If you see this uh, option and the documentation, support for partial ledger settlement is available on the ledger settlement page. Debits no longer have to match credits when ledger settlement is done. And the remaining amount is shown for partially settled transactions. So let's see how this ledger settlement works. And also at the end, after the demo, you know, uh, we will also talk about some prerequisite. So first, the important part is we need to enable this feature. So this feature is not in feature management. Rather, this feature is on general layer parameters. And this is a parameterized feature. So here in the layer settlement page, before, you know, uh, now, this is the option partial ledger settlement. However, you need to enable these two and ad enable advanced warehouse awareness options and 11 post enable forced foreign currency, uh, post uh, currency realized gain losses for ledger settlement. Then only you can enable this feature. Okay. So, an important part is once you have enabled this feature, there is no going back. You cannot disable this feature. Always remember. This is a legal entity wise feature and it is a parameterized. So there is nothing in feature management. Once you enable this in 10 42 version, you can enable this feature. Okay. But there is no going back. You cannot, you know, uh, disable this once you have enabled it. Same thing. The process will remain same. So, so in the interest of time, I have created a few transactions. Uh, if you see in the right hand side, these are all not same. The debit is 1200 and credit 250 and 234. There is nothing. These three are not matching. This is not same. So what we will do, we will select these three option. Okay. Uh, and then click on settle. Mark selected. These three have been marked. The If you see the downside, Mark debit is 1200, mark credit is 484, difference is 716. Okay, same thing in the reporting currency, it will show also. Now you'll select and I can write description and I can click on settle. And if you see previously it was not allowing, but as this feature has now arrived, this has been settled. Okay, so now interesting part we need to make, we need to remember this status option now have multiple things like all not settled settled and partially settled this is new so all means everything calculated settled non settled and partial now not settled you already know what is not settled and settled settled means what is totally settled see if i select this today's transaction will also come into the picture the 250 or 234 okay however the one which is still remaining from the 1200 which you have selected that will that will now show into the partial settled See this 1200 which we have done all settled. The remaining is 500. Sorry, this one, this one remaining is 716. That means you need to make sure that if you think that I have balance remaining, that will actually not come into the settled or or not settled one. See if I select not settled. Ah, oh, my bad. Will not come because that is partially settled and but not fully settled so you need to make sure that you don't miss this the partially settled this one will come under 1200 right partially remaining one if you want to settle with this and this will be settled okay now if i want to uh, do the settlement mark selected between 
between two parcel is a delta right and there is also difference now this is done right so now only two options will come the, the one which is fully settled now it has gone another changes you will notice that there is a new option called view settlements if you see these view settlements these view settlements actually uh, you can see date settled settlement id you know you can reverse settlement from here previous it was from the first screen but it is now in the view settlement form okay so this is the overall you know picture or the feature i wanted to demonstrate right so that's it for this demo i hope you have liked it okay thanks for watching bye for now stay tuned for another video like this